Hi all and welcome back to the channel. We just had a recent 2.5 update to open beta, so I just thought I'd run through some of the changes for the Harrier. First thing we'll look at is the MPCDs. Now I've got that uh, programmed to voice attack, so let's have a look at the TGP. TGP. As you can see, the text colour has changed slightly, so it's a, a little bit more visible. Um, when you're running through on the map, EHSD, map M, map. When you're close in, it's slightly clearer, so that's a lot better. Right, let me show you now how to uh, set up the AGM 65Es, which are the laser guided Maverick missiles. So, what we'll do is go to menu, stores, and LMAV, laser guided Mavericks, air to ground stores, and select LMAV. And then you will get this particular screen up which shows you the laser code in large numerals uh, and you can change the laser code whilst you're in that particular page by pressing code and then moving up to the UFC let's go one two three four and then press enter as you can see the laser code is changed what we'll do now is we'll revert that back to one six eight eight and enter and we're back to normal so, what we'll do now is we'll get the T-Pod uh, onto the target area. Same as in the previous video, I've got the targets lined up at the uh, cross runway just south of Potty, uh, and we'll take out those vehicles again. So, let's go to the right-hand MPCD and select T-Pod. TDC slew is on, and put it into standby. Now, you'll probably have realised by now that um, Rasmam have given us an axis um, on the T-Pod sloop, or the TDC sloop, should I say. Uh, and my controller is not the best in the world, but uh, at least it works. It's rather wick. So we will zoom in. We'll go for that little beauty there. Now we've got it in area track mode there, and I've kind of noticed that the closer that you get to the target, uh, you'll get a point track. Now point track is the best method for, for launching this particular missile, because uh, then at least you know you've got the vehicle locked up. If you area track it, there's a strong possibility that the laser will just guide to the area and it will strike the ground around the vehicle. It may damage the vehicle, but it won't actually hit it directly uh, and blow it up. So I always wait for a point track and what I'll do now is I'll take the active pause off and we'll fly in a little bit closer. Plus the fact I need to put the master arm on, so there we go, that's on. Try and remember everything. <laughs> and active pause. Try in the target. Now we've got a point track, we'll uncage the missile. We'll turn the laser on safe and then select fire and the laser is firing and when the laser fires you'll see that the target is in a box at the bottom there and I just move the crosshairs down until it's within that particular boxed area and then I'll do a launch put the nose down and rifle now these things are particularly heavy, so you're going to have to majorly trim out once you've launched the missile. There we go. And it's as simple as that. It is that easy. Um, it's just rinse and repeat if you want to select another target. Uh, once that particular target has been destroyed. Select another target with the T-Pod. Uncage. Line up, fire, jobs are good. So I hope that was helpful and useful for you, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.